Let's get to ep uh, level two. Jungle rollers. Level two, boys. Let's do this. All right. So hopefully, I can figure out how to. Uh, I, I again, I don't know any of the controls on a uh, on a switch yet, except for the jump and the spin. But I'm trying to learn how to slide, unless it comes out a different. Oh, I know. So I bring up my UI. But I'm trying to figure out how to slide. I was told it was R1 or R2. However, they haven't been working for me. So like if I jump an R1 or I jump R2, they just don't work. Um, now for those of you guys that don't know, we didn't see in the first level, there's TNT. If you jump on the TNT, it will go ahead and start a little timer. You want to go ahead and make sure you get you out of your way. It's going to go ahead and explode and you will lose a life from that. Now we got some critters that we have to avoid. There's skunks or possum, not possum, but there's skunks. It's some type of skunk. I have no clue exactly what they are. But again, just like level one, I'm gonna get through this as quickly as possible. There's a lot of extra things on this level uh, that do require some gems from later levels, so we won't be able to do that right now. Like this is where the slide comes into handy when it when we're going against the plants here. But you can do that. Don't remember the levels completely. Now that is a cocoa icon, which is gonna unlock a bonus level. Oh, didn't see you. Just gonna wait. Haku mess. Ooh, kinda stuck here. Depth perception in these games, they still never changed that. Uh oh. I thought that was the one where there was an actual hole. Now, as you guys can see, this is a holified gem slot, which requires a gem. I believe it's a green gem for this level. I'm not 100% sure, but it requires a green gem or a gem um, from a certain level that is later on, and I'm not too sure what level that is. I'm actually gonna have to look into that. But how to get gems, um, some require, most of them in uh, Crash Bandicoot 1 just require you to complete the level by collecting all the boxes, which you guys can see on the top of the screen right now, I'm 24 out of 43 get all the boxes, you can die doing that. Some of them later on require not doing the same thing, but not dying. All right. Now this is gonna be TNT, however, I think I'm gonna die from it. I'm actually gonna try not to. Yep, I died. <laughs> Sliding was introduced in Crash 2. Unfortunately, it wasn't in Crash 1. Oh, thank you very much, Steven, for letting me know that. I actually didn't realize that. Again, I haven't played these games in 20 years, and that is interesting. Now I see why it's not introduced here. And a couple of other things that I noticed that were removed in this um, when I was playing yesterday was, uh, what's it called? There's no more cheat codes. I'm glad they got rid of those, to be honest. Now, if they remake, if they remake Crash Team Racing, they better release that with cheat codes. If they don't, I'm gonna be really upset. Like, I'm trying to do it. You know what, let's not bother. Again, this is a speed run. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Just to show you guys what the levels help out. Uh-oh. All right, cool, got a level. All right, this is the one I think that has a gap on the other side. Nope. And then here goes a bonus. Now that we've collected three Coco icons, we can go ahead and get into this. And what's new about this game is you can actually play as Coco. So I'm looking forward to that. One bot. I believe this is, yeah, this is the easy one. Just to smash the boxes. You get a life, you get a couple of apples. Try to save her, but sadly you can't. And everything that you collect on these bonus levels is going to be needed for the actual. So there's going to be one of these sneaky holes on the other side of the circle. I believe it's this one then. Yep. So they'll do a little pause there. I, li I like how they do that. So see, as you guys can see, this level's completed. We did miss a total of six crates, sadly. But again, that's not my goal here. 
My goal is not to get the gems. My goal is not to get the keys or the relics just yet. Just to go ahead and complete each and every single level as quickly as possible. I want to go ahead and complete at least island one of three tonight. Might be able to get through more.